Hey guys, it's Connor Kirby, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you my Detroit Lions 2020 NFL season predictions. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, so the Lions, uh, in my opinion, are a pretty good team. They are underrated, but they are in one of the toughest divisions of the NFL with the Packers, the Vikings, and the Bears. All three playoff caliber teams, and the Lions are also a playoff caliber team. Yeah, so they all four could make the playoffs this year, but we all know that's not going to happen. There are teams better than that, and there's uh, some teams that are going to struggle. I mean, they could all go thirteen and three, but we know that's not going to happen. Um, we, they're all, I mean, they're all going to be um, close within records with each other. This comes down to their other schedule with their other teams. But the Lions are uh, a good team, have have a pretty good offense. That D-line on their defense is pretty good, but the secondary ain't great. Um, the linebacker core is average, but not a bad team. Good offense that will carry them this year. Um, maybe keep Matt, Patric Matt Patricia's job. But now let's get into this video study with the predictions with the Lions at home against the Bears in week one, and they do end up winning, going to 1-0. Um, Bears have a great defense and a little below average offense. They need a better offense. Um, but I think um, that if Nick Foles comes in, he won't be uh, completely ready, so I don't think he's going to come in. I think it's going to be Mitch Trubisky. For a while, and you'll see him do decent. I think he'll do better than last year, so that'll help the offense. But I just don't think anyone will be ready for the week one matchup for any team. So it could go anyway for any team, I think. So the Lions do get their first win here strictly because they had hope for an advantage. But now the Lions do got to go on the road to play the Packers. And the Lions are very unlucky against the Packers. So they probably are not going to win this game. And they do not win this game. Um, and none of us are surprised because the refs always cheat them into losing these games against the Packers. So they're very unlucky, but they still have another match and they can prove the refs wrong. Um, but then the Lions do go out and they're still on the road, go to Arizona to play the Cardinals. And they get the second win of the season, and they start off two and one, going good. Um, start is a little easy, and then they got some tough teams they're gonna play, and they're at home, but they have the Saints at home. It's like, can't we have them away? Why NFL? Um, but you know they obviously gonna lose this game. The Saints are just way better. Um, yeah, and that's that. Then the Lions, you know, are by week. They're like, uh, week six, we play the Jaguars. Not a big deal. We're going to win this game quite easily. But they do end up losing, just get caught off guard. And their minds are still kind of around that Saints game, you know. But that's okay. They can rebound, but then they lose to the Falcons on the road. So... Three straight losses. They need to rebound. That's exactly what they do against the Indianapolis Colts at home. Kind of start to rebound. But then they got to play the Vikings, who are a really good team, as I said in the beginning of the video. And they do end up losing. And they are away in this game, which makes it a little bit harder. But going out to week 10, and they only have three wins on the season. Which is not very good. Um, they're three and five, but they do beat the Redskins. They're bad, like I've said in so many videos, um, because they don't have an offense. And let's just stop talking about this match because we know the Lions are going to win. Um, yeah, the Lions will have to play the Panthers, which will be a pretty good game. Panthers are a really good team with Christian McCaffrey there and Teddy Bridgewater there. Uh, will really help. I think that team would do great with Teddy Bridgewater. Um, with no really too big of a flaws. I mean, not an amazing offensive line, but not horrible. Uh, that defense needs a lot of work, but Luke, losing Luke Keekley 
But they got two great rookies in Derek Brown and Yeter Grasmatos in the draft. So two defensive linemen. So that D-line is going to be good this year. Um, but yeah, the main concern right now now is the linebacker core and secondary more of. Um, but yeah, they win this game at home as the Lions lose. So the Lions are at home and play the Texans and do get their next win of the season, propelling them to 5-6. and six. But they do got to play the Bears away, and I think this will be a good game. Like, it's the same as week one, but they do lose this game. Probably about a touchdown or a field goal separates this game, a game-winning touchdown for a goal for the Bears. But the Lions revenge themselves against the Packers in week 14. And now they're like, maybe we can make the playoffs. We are very lucky, but they we are not in a good spot. So they really have no chance at this point. I mean, they're 6-7. and seven. They got to um, win their next three games if they want a chance, but probably won't happen. Um, and they don't because they lose the Titans in the – First game of their last three stretch, but they do beat the Buccaneers in week 16, so a little help there. Maybe 8-8, eight and eight, but maybe they want to lose, so they have a better draft pick. Uh, but they end up trying hard, you know, like any other game, but they do lose to the Vikings at home. So a close game, but they do end up losing. But the Lions go 7-9, and nine, get the 12th overall dr- draft pick in this draft. So... Pretty big upgrade from last year from third overall draft pick to 12th overall draft pick. Um, maybe they can build on next year. And possibly this kept Matt Patricia's job because you see that offense doing pretty good. Like maybe we could keep Matt Patricia here for another year. Or because maybe he can get that offense going. But um, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you liked it. Um, And if you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!